Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It is the what I got my kids for Christmas video. This is such a fun video to do and to look back on on the things, you know, of just previous Christmases. So if you are new here, we are a large family. We have 11 kids. And so, you know, that makes for a big Christmas. So in order to streamline things and help us, you know, to make sure that we're not getting too much of one thing for each kid, I do keep notes, I do keep records, um, but we have adopted the mindset from this poem, something you want, something you need, something to wear and something to read. And since we've been doing this, I have just really, it just works really well for our family. So to make it fit, I actually do two want gifts something to wear and something to read. So it could be a few items in each category, but I just try to make sure that it's even amongst the kids. So like something to wear, for instance, isn't just a t-shirt sometimes. It just kind of depends. Again, it depends on the kid and what I see whenever I am out shopping for the kids. So without further ado, let's jump in and I will show you what we got each of our kids for Christmas. So our kids' ages range from 17 all the way down to two, and we are gonna start at our oldest daughter. She is 17 years old. So here's Taylor's pile. Um, so being a teenager, they really like clothes. You will see that, um, but we also do the something to wear. So she is getting a black skirt, like a pencil style skirt, and then a button up shirt and looking at the stuff that I bought, it's very monochromatic. But honestly, this is the style of stuff that she likes. So a button up white shirt and then this jacket sweater. Um, it's not a jacket, but like a, you know, heavier type shirt is super cute. And then she really needed a new pair of leggings. So I got her a pair of leggings too. And then this is a black shirt that's like a little bit tighter of a fit to wear underneath things. She's growing up, y'all, and like in, you know, different styles. So she is getting two pairs of shoes because honestly, she needs shoes really bad. I'm actually going to take her shopping for shoes as well because all of her shoes are getting worn out. So she's getting a pair of black sandals and these white tennis shoes. And then for her something to read, she, uh, I'm going to have to explain a little bit. Um, she's getting this book, A Promise for Ellie by Lorraine Snelling and Valley of Dreams, and this is the first of the Wild West Wind series. So to explain, our oldest daughter is an avid reader. I usually get her a huge box of books for Christmas, and that's not happening this year for a couple reasons. One, she has worked through her book list, like she always has an ongoing book list, and there's just not as many on that list. And the books that are left are have actually been very hard to find. So I'm a little disappointed in that. The other reason is she's out of bookshelf space and that's what she was like, mom, I am out of bookshelf space, but she doesn't want to get rid of any books either. You know, it's a good problem to have. So I went to the bookstore looking for the books that were on her list and I could not find them. So I picked these out. I'm praying that she hasn't read them. This is an author that she has liked in the past. They don't look familiar to me, but that doesn't really mean anything because she has hundreds of books. So there's that. To explain, she's not getting the huge box of books like she has gotten the last several years, but she did ask for a Kindle because of those lists being, you know, mostly on Kindle now. And the other reason is she's out of bookshelf space. So with that said, she is, I didn't get a Kindle. One, they're more expensive than a tablet, but like you can download the Kindle app so this was my solution for that. So she is getting, and I also got it on sale, y'all, Black Friday sale. <laughs> so she is getting a Fire tablet and then we will download the Kindle app. I'm also gonna add a Kindle gift card to this too. So I think that she'll be excited because I don't think that she is expecting to get something like this. So hopefully this works the way that I'm hoping it will. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a bit, but I'm going to finish showing you what we got. So that's how come she's not getting the big old box of books this year. Um, but we are, and honestly, I'm not sure if she's even going to like reading on a Kindle because she has only read on books. Um, but if she can read the books that are on her list that we can't find anywhere besides Kindle, that'll probably make her happy. All right. So that's the something to read. And then I saw this necklace and I just thought it was really pretty and that she would like it. So it's like a gold chain that will go along with some of her other jewelry that I just thought would be super pretty. So she's getting a gold necklace. 
And so I showed you all the clothes. So that is her something to want, something to read, and then the other want gift. So to explain, this was a little bit pricier than like one want gift, okay? So I also got her this big fluffy blanket that I think that she will really like as well. So that goes along with the want, want, and then, you know, this is a little bit pricier. Um, something to read and something to wear. Our second oldest daughter is Addison and she is 16 years old and I'm going to show you her gifts. Here's Addison's pile and her first want gift that I got is this like crafters bag. So if y'all follow our vlogs, Addison is an avid crocheter. I've got an avid reader and an avid crocheter. She makes the most beautiful creations. So I had on my mind, so she usually carries a bag of yarn and scissors and hooks wherever we go so that she crochets in the van or at church, just whatever we're doing, she's always carrying something with her. So I had it on her mind that I wanted to get her a nice case. So this is a crafter's case that's got all these pockets in it and hooks um, so that she can put, you know, all of her stuff that she uses to crochet. I just think she actually ended up asking for this and so I just know that she's gonna love it. So it's a backpack style, so it'll be easy to carry, but it also has these handles as well. And then to go in that, I got her these handmade tags that she can put on her goodies of, you know, what she's making. Um, we've gotten some of these before and she likes adding, you know, that little touch of handmade touch. So then I also got her a crochet or a yarn ring is what it's called. So you can hook the yarn on the ring. I honestly don't know that she's gonna want to use this because she is such an avid crocheter and she crochets so fast and just amazing. This might mess her up, but I just thought, you know, it might be something that could help. With that said, I also got one for Reagan and Miley because they are learning to crochet. So it's probably more for their speed, but anyways, that's going in her bag. And then what avid crafter crocheter does it need a keychain of crochet hooks? I mean, that just makes perfect sense, right? Super cute. Um, so all that is gonna go in her bag. And then she is getting a cross necklace. So this is a cross that kind of lays on the side. And I just thought that that was really pretty and she would like that. Okay, so that's her one want gift. And then her something to wear. She is getting some yellow shoes. She has a pair of yellow shoes that she has outgrown. So she's kind of sad about that. So I got her a pair that's similar. And then these purple pants. And honestly, I'm worried that these are gonna be too big but she did ask for these. So a pair of purple pants. It's so funny, like you can see their personalities, you know, more neutral colored. <laughs> so this is also a dress that she, the, just the style that she would like. So it's more of like the prairie style, but in the blue and white gingham that would, she asked for more church clothes. So I think that she will really like that. And then I got this outfit down here because I just thought that she would like it. She absolutely loves yellow, is like obsessed with the color yellow. And this skirt just screamed Addison to me. So I got that, it's got little pockets on the front. Um, just the pattern is really pretty. And again, something that she could wear to church. So I got this black shirt to go with it. I thought that that would match and she often ties her shirts too. So I think that will work well put those up there and then I got her a yellow shirt because her other yellow shirt that she likes and wears often is getting too small so and when you love the color yellow you just can't have enough of it so just a yellow basic shirt and then now her something to read so again I normally buy more books but they haven't Addison and Peyton you'll see they're not as avid readers Addison will read but they just don't go through as much as Taylor. So she is just getting a book that goes next in her series. And then as y'all saw, so this is what I wanted to explain whenever I was talking about Taylor's. We actually got a tablet for our six oldest kids. Now this isn't a bigger one like Taylor's. Taylor's was a little bit more expensive, but they were on extremely good sale for on Black Friday. And I saw it and you know, I was getting Taylor's. I didn't want the other kids to be disappointed that they didn't get something like that. So, you know, I talked it over with Nathan. I was like, you know, this really could be beneficial, especially in our school. So <laughs> homeschool mom, we only have two laptops that we juggle amongst six kids. And so these are gonna come in handy. Obviously they'll use it for games and other things as well. But so the six oldest are getting a tablet. I am not like, we don't have a game system or anything like that. So this will be, you know, just different for our kids to have 
we'll have rules and you know all that's you know time limits and all of that but as a homeschool mom this is going to help our homeschool they do their math on uh, on the laptop so this is going to help out so much so this is her other want gift so moving on to Peyton, who is 15 years old, and I'm not gonna lie y'all, she's a little bit harder to shop for. She just, she is big into making jewelry, but she has a plethora of jewelry making supplies. But primarily what she asked for was clothes. So we got her clothes and she isn't an avid reader at all. She's got a stack of books, you know, that I've bought from previous Christmases. So I did not get her books, but I did get her like a desktop devotional scripture set that can you know set on her desk when we're in our new house um, which we are so looking forward to so I just thought that would be a little something nice it's not here though it's supposed to be here tonight so I can't show that to y'all but the items that I can show y'all so we will do her want gifts first so she is also getting a tablet like I had shared you know it's you see all the orange boxes <laughs> so this is really going to help her homeschool and just also in general the kids can use it so I think that they will be surprised to see that so she is getting that and then her other want gift is this cow print blanket down here which is just super cute she did ask for this i think that she will you know be thrilled with that and then she also is wanting some more claw clips so this is like her want gift going along with that and then i got her this cross necklace this one dangles um she has something she had something similar that was just you know like costume jewelry and it broke, so I think that she will really enjoy having another one to replace that. And then similar to Taylor, this is what's hard with having three teenage daughters, y'all, is trying to get things different enough for their style, but there's only so many options to choose from, and they also end up liking the same things. So I hope that makes sense. So like say jean jackets, for instance, all three of them would love a jean jacket, but they don't want to match either. So just having three girls in a row, very close in age, 17, 16, 15, this has been the story of my life since they were little because they all are unique and have their own styles. So anyways, all that to say, she is getting a similar pair of white tennis shoes to Taylor's. They both like them, but hers have the black on the back. Um, so I think that she'll be pleased. Oh, girl mom problems. <laughs> so she saw this jacket and really liked it. So she is getting this jacket, which will be nice. And then I got her, so she is very much like a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl. So I got her a few t-shirts and this one I just thought was sweet. She likes um, scripture saying, so Isaiah, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isn't that sweet? Like I would wear that. I think that's pretty. And then she's also, I call her my country girl. She loves riding horses and just anything you know, related to that. So this is a t-shirt. I got a heart like a truck um, with a horse on it. And then this is a Nashville t-shirt that she specifically asked for. She's going to really like that. And then she's getting a pair of black flared jeans that are, you know, fringed on the bottom. Um, and then she also needed a new pair of leggings as well, but she is wanting the flare style. So that is Peyton's pile. Next in line is Jackson, and he is 13 years old. And y'all, I'm having a little bit trouble with his gifts. So I ordered him a sweatshirt that's not here yet. It should be here before Christmas, but you know, those things just, it's taking a little bit longer than it should. I also ordered him a Florida State Seminole t-shirt, and it came in yesterday. They sent me Florida Gator t-shirt. If you know the problem with that, you understand the frustration here. I actually thought that I ordered the wrong colors. I opened it, I was like, this is orange and blue. I had actually looked at a similar t-shirt for someone in our family who is a Gator fan. I was like, did I order this? But this is small. Anyway, so I looked back at my order. I did order the right one. I actually showed it to Nathan. I was like, I cannot believe that I accidentally ordered orange and blue. And anyways, I looked at the receipt. I did in fact order the right colors. They sent the wrong one. So we are returning that. And I, I don't know. It's not enough time at this point to order something and have it here in time. So I made just pull them aside and tell them I owe you a Florida State t-shirt. I'm not exactly sure. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do about that. So I do have an FSU sweatshirt coming. Hopefully it's here in time. I was going to get him another t-shirt. I guess I'll probably just run to Ross and see if I can find anything to add to his clothing pile. So, okay, moving on from that, he is getting this plaid jacket. He actually needs a jacket, so that's going to be good. And then these, they are knockoffs, but they're like, hey dude, shoes. He has been wanting hey dudes and he needs shoes as well. So 
he is getting those. And then to go along with the something to wear, he is getting this cross necklace. He had one for his birthday and it broke. So I saw these and just thought that that would be really nice. So then that is, you know, his something to wear. Have to get something for him in that category as well. So his something to read. Jackson is not an avid reader, but I do like to still encourage the reading. So he is getting a, and he loves Garfield. And y'all, I had a comic book similar to this whenever I was little. Mine was not hard back though. Um, and I loved it. So I know that he will sit down and read this. He likes Garfield. This is just, this will be fun. Actually, many kids in our family even myself might sit down and read this. So that will be, that was a fun find. I don't even remember where I found it at, but it was a fun find. I was excited whenever I saw that and thought of Jackson. And then I got him a maze book too, um, that goes along with the, oh, it's California. I did not know that. Oh, well, it'll still be fun. Oh, it's all the states. Where does it say California there? Anyways, it is all the states. Okay. So that's why I got that. I'm remembering now. It is what I thought it was. Okay, so that'll be fun. And then the other thing that he asked for was a drone. So he's going to have so much fun with this. And I'm sure that there will be some frustration involved as well. And then, like I said, the previous about the other kids, he is getting a tablet too. Um, so they will be, I think, shocked that mom actually got tablets. So next up is Miley. She is 11 years old, but her birthday is shortly after Christmas. It's in January and then she turns 12, y'all. So I'm going to show you the items that we got for her. And there's actually a fun item that she actually asked for, but I know the whole family is going to end up getting in on. So first up is her something to read. So I got her a Laura Ingalls Pioneer Sister book. And then I saw this and I just thought that that would be so fun. A cat's cradle book. Honestly, Addison probably would like one of these as well. And... It just shows you, you know the different steps of what you can do. And I just thought that she would enjoy this as well. She does enjoy reading, but she isn't like an avid reader. So I, for my non-avid readers, I do love to still instill reading to them. But I find that doing like activity books helps. Or um, she will love the Laura Ingalls book though. Or something that they absolutely love. Or something like hands-on like this. So... This is a Vincent Van Gogh, like a scratchy art set, and she loves Vincent Van Gogh. And I just, I, I saw this and I thought of her. So that is going with the something to read for her. And then her something to wear um, is boots. <laughs> so she has been begging for a pair of boots, and these, she is going to look so cute in those. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love them. Okay, so she is getting a pair of boots. She also really wanted this duck purse. She loves ducks all of a sudden and she wants to get a duck anyway so she's getting a duck purse and some duck socks to go with said duck purse and boots and then she really likes morgan wallen and asked for a t-shirt of his so she is getting a wallen t-shirt so isn't that just going to be such a cute outfit i need to get her some jeans y'all um maybe whenever i go to ross for looking for stuff for jackson i will look and see if i can find her a pair of jeans just simply because she needs them okay so this is a romper set that would look cute at church. It's black rompers and it came with a white shirt underneath it. So that is her something to wear. And then as you know, I had said with the other kids is she's getting a tablet as one of her want gifts. And I think the kids are honestly just going to be so shocked that I bought these. But so again, to help a school, reading, games, all that. And then this is the item that I said everybody is going to get in on. Um, she asked for a typewriter and I found one on Facebook marketplace. I think I paid $30 for it and you know, it's electric. I did order a new ribbon to replace that. So I'm going to, I don't know. We'll figure that out when we do it and you know, plugs in. This is just going to be so fun. Y'all, I remember, you know, sitting at my grandma's desk and funny enough, that's the roll top desk that I have now. Oh goodness. I'm going to get all sentimental now but sitting at her desk and playing with her typewriter. And one, I just think this would just be a good, you know, activity for the kids to do primarily, you know, it's Miley's. Um, but so that is going to be so fun. I can't believe that I found it. I, and I don't know how I'm going to wrap this. Probably just wrap it as is. Cause I don't think I have a big enough box for it. I don't know. Maybe I do. I've got boxes over there. We'll figure it out. But this is Miley's gifts. Okay, next up is Logan. So y'all still with me? We have 11 kids, y'all. And we are 
moving on to just over halfway there. So Logan is 10 years old and he is your, you know, normal, rugged, rough and tumble boy. He loves basketball. So y'all will see that, you know, represented in his gifts. But I also had an issue with his gifts as well. So I also, I ordered him a Steph Curry sweatshirt from the same place that I ordered the t-shirt that they sent the wrong one. I also ordered him, oh, I didn't grab that. I do have a t-shirt for him. I need to grab that. So I also got him a Steph Curry t-shirt, um, but the sweatshirt, I ordered a youth large and y'all, this thing would fit Drew, Drew's four, in case y'all don't know. <laughs> um, it is way too small. So I am returning that. And maybe, you know, again, whenever I go looking for clothing, I will, you know, look for something extra for him clothing wise. Okay, so here is his stack. I got a, you know, a tablet for him. And he has been wanting slides so bad. He specifically wanted Golden State Warrior slides. Cannot find them in his size. So I saw these basketball ones and I thought maybe, you know, they would go. Got him Steph Curry socks to go with him. That's exactly what he wanted. He wanted the Golden State Warrior slides and the socks. So those are going there. And then I got him this basketball sweatshirt. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm worried that that's going to be too small. That might be too small. Oh, um, and then he is also getting a cross necklace. This is a golden one. He, I think, will really like that too. Okay, so now Logan is an avid reader. Um, so I got him a different variety of books. One, these Mad Libs are just so fun. I thought about giving this to Jackson and then looking at it. I thought this might be just a little bit too young for Jackson. So he's getting a sports Mad Libs. He really likes presidents and specifically Abraham Lincoln. So I got him this book on Abraham Lincoln and I got another book on Abraham Lincoln that I just know that he's going to love sitting and reading and looking at those. And then let's see what else. Okay. So this is a big, the Bernstein Bears big book of science and nature. He loves the Bernstein Bears and has for several years. He still sits and reads through all those books all the time. So I just think this was right up his alley. I saw that and just immediately thought of him. And then I also got him this Peterson Field Guide Coloring Books on Birds. Again, he is a nature-loving boy, um, so he will really like this. It shows, you know, the different birds, but you can color them. It tells you things about them, and I just know that he's going to like that. Okay, and then I saw these spy sets that I just thought would be super fun for him. So it just has, you know, different things. He's actually getting into magic now too, but I thought that this would kind of go along with the things that he's interested in. So it says, I spy sneaky science. It includes, you know, a spy storage case, a decoy pencil box, a spy scope, a microphone with earbud, and then this goes along with it. Spy school, secret ciphers. So I just know that he's going to have a lot of fun with that. You know what? I forgot. So we tend to get, you know, like a group boy gift and a group girl gift. So here's what the boys are getting is a spike ball set. Um, if y'all don't know what it is, it's, ooh, 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 ooh. let me see if there's a picture. It's two, like almost mini trampolines and it's a game with balls and um, it's a lot of fun. We've played it and the kids have loved it. So they are getting the spike ball set and then they are getting the Super Mario chess set. And for the girls group gift set, I got them the movie set Twilight. I also ordered the book series as well. I know Taylor will read it. I don't know Addison May and I, I'm not sure that Peyton will, but it will be there if they want to. So that was all the older kids. So I'm going to put this stuff up and flip flop it and get our younger kids stuff out so that we can show y'all that. Got everything situated and out for Reagan, Harper, Drew, Kinley, and Camden. So Reagan is seven and I'm going to show you the thing. So hers and Harper's are very similar. Um, but again, that's just kind of what happens when you have kids close in age, Reagan seven, Harper six, but it kind of, it goes together too. So they will have a lot of fun playing together. And that's one of the beauty things of having kids close in age is playing together. Like they just have so much fun. You know, it's built in best friends when you have a bunch of kids. <laughs> so moving on to her items. So I will first show you her something to wear. So we are loving Little House on the Prairie. That's one of my favorites and I have instilled that love <laughs> to my kids too. So 
her, Harper and Kinley, which you'll see it, are getting an apron set with a bonnet. Reagan specifically has been asking for one and asking for one, but they are each getting one. That is going to be so cute. And then, you know, just in true fashion, <laughs> she also wanted some boots as well. So she is getting a pair of boots. So that is her something to wear. And then her something to read is she is getting a book of little house paper dolls. That is just going to be so much fun. And then little house coloring book. Oh, that's perfect on the banks of Plum Creek. So it just has, you know, quotes from the book and coloring pages. It's just going to be so sweet. So that is Reagan, something to read. And now something to want. Reagan is also kind of like a crafty kid. She really has never been a kid that plays with toys. So she's kind of been hard, but she likes to do stuff. So I got her her own rainbow loom um, set. And then I also got her this combo set that comes with little charms as well. So she's getting this whole set. I actually bought, I don't have it out here as a Christmas gift, but a container that I will just give her, you know, later on on Christmas to put all the items in because, you know, that's a lot of stuff. So, um, so I am so excited about these y'all. All right, let me move this because this goes along with this gift. This is an 18 inch doll of Mary Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie. I'm going to open it for y'all so that y'all can see it closer. I saw these and absolutely fell in love. So she is getting Mary because she is the older sister between her and uh, Harper. Isn't that just so sweet? Oh, I'm just gonna take that thing out. That's gotta go. Look at this. Let's see if her eyes open. Come on, Mary, open your eyes. <laughs> there we go. Sweet is that. The girls are gonna love this. And so it comes with, you know, the little lunch pail her slate. Look at the little boots. So it says meet Mary Ingalls. I am so excited about this. So with that said, Harper's gifts kind of go along. So Harper is getting the same doll, but in Laura. And I just can see them running around playing together, dressed up. And that's what I mean by like built in best friends. So it is hard as far as like the dynamics of making sure there's that individuality and they have the things that they like and their style and all that. But on the reward side, you know, they're close best friends and they get to play together. So they do enjoy the same thing so that, you know, it's just fun. I could just go on and on. So I realized I got so excited about Miss Mary over here that I didn't show you. I got them outfits to go along with it. So if you notice this matched, where's it at? The apron set. So Mary can match Reagan and it's got a little bonnet with it. And then she's also getting a fancy dress too. So fun. Okay, maybe I'm reliving my childhood just a little bit. So Harper is getting Laura. And let me remove this. So sweet. So Laura comes with her little rag doll. Uh, oh, it comes with a little quilt and a pillow. But she's in a nightgown. Did I not know she was in a nightgown? I don't know. Regardless, she's getting new clothes too. So, <laughs> so Laura is also getting the matching with the apron dress. And then she's getting this pretty blue dress with a bonnet as well. So fun. And so to, I'll just jump over to something to wear. So Harper is also getting the apron and bonnet. And then yes, a pair of boots because they all want boots. So these are Harper's boots. And then for her books, she is getting a scratchy set, which there's enough in this. There's 30 sheets that she can share with Reagan and Kinley even. Um, but my kids have all loved those scratchy things. So I tend to get them at Christmas and, you know, it just helps keep them entertained throughout the year. <laughs> so she's also getting the Little House Coloring Book and the paper dolls. And so then for Harper's birthday, she got a, it's not the Reborn brand, but like the lifelike newborn baby doll. And she wanted a bed for her baby. So she is getting a cradle. We have had different ones over the years and the plastic ones tend to break. And then we actually made one out of a cardboard box for her as well. And obviously that one didn't last long. So that is Harper and Reagan's gifts. All right, so next up is Drew. Drew is four years old. He is all boy, y'all. But as I'm doing this, I realize one of his gifts is missing. Nathan said that he grabbed all the boxes that were labeled Christmas. So we're gonna have to hunt this thing down. It should have all been together. 
I don't know. But what is missing is I got him a box of magnet tiles. I know that the kids are going to love that, especially with this magnet board thing that we got recently. So amongst this stuff, he's also got a box of magnet tiles. So he is also getting these Lincoln logs. They are going to have so much fun building. I got a lot of more hands-on stuff for him because I just know that he'll enjoy that. So the magnet tiles, the Lincoln logs is his two want gifts. And then for something to read, he is getting a water wow book. And then this dinosaur book, these polka dot books. We saw these at the library and the kids just loved them. Um, so I ended up being able to get them for them for Christmas. So it's just different dinosaurs and it has these pops in them. They are going to love that. And then I only got him one something to wear I'm probably gonna get him a couple pairs of pants because he needs pants. We just got him shoes, he's got boots. The only thing that he really could use is pants. So I got him this dinosaur outfit. It's got matching shorts. He is gonna love that. Not having that box of magnet tiles out here is making me feel like, you know, I didn't get enough stuff for Drew. So maybe I'll pick him up something small, especially looking up next to Kinley's stuff. So Kinley is three years old and I'll show you what we got her. All right, so here is Kinley something to wear. So she is getting a new pair of shoes, so cute. And then we got her uh, apron bonnet set, just like Reagan and Harper's. This is gonna be a little bit big on her, but I figured it's one size fits all for one. She'll still like to dress up and play around with her sisters. And then she's getting this kitchen set. So she's, you know, she's three, so she's just at that age of loving to play with this. So we got the pots and pans set. Um, the condiment set, and then we also got the utensil set. And then her something to read, she is getting a water wow book and also a pokey book as well. And hers is the farm one. And then this is so sweet. So to go along, you know, with the little house on the prairie theme, I saw this and I just had to get it for her. Um, it is the little house on the prairie set, but bears. And then, you know, it has this little cabin that you can play in. So I opened all this up to show it to y'all. So these actually are lids to the bears. So here's the three. Where's the baby bear? There's supposed to be three. Is it in here? I bet you it's in here. If I can get that open. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh my goodness. That's the baby bed. So, you know, there's Mary, Laura, and Carrie. Ma and Pa, and then it has a little howl set. I just think that they are gonna have so much fun with these. It's got bedding in there under each one. So sweet. And these doors pop open and move, and there's a window on this side. Last but not least, Camden. He is two years old. I'm gonna show you what we got him. All right, so Camden is getting this remote control fire truck. They are going to have a blast with that. And then this Dust Sweet Mop set. So all of my little kids have always wanted this set. And we've never had one. And I just saw it. And I just thought that Camden, honestly, Drew will play with it as well. Um, so they are getting that set. Or he's getting that set. But, you know, they're, they're going to share these toys too. Which is the beauty of the large family. So he's getting a matching outfit to match Big Brother Drew. His is orange. Dinosaurs on it. Matching shorts. Be super cute. And for his books, he's getting a water wow book and this monkey polka dot thing, polka dot book. So it's, you know, the 10 little monkeys jumping on the bed. So that's going to be fun. That is it for what we got all 11 of our kids. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, seeing what we got each one of them. Now the wrapping game begins. I hope that you all are blessed and have a Merry Christmas and we will see y'all in the next video.